Reporting from the newsroom in Champaign, I'm Evan Curlan, and this is the Daily Illini vidcast for Monday, November 12th. The University and Graduate Employees Organization met for the first time with a federal mediator to work on a new contract draft. This was the 22nd time they have met so far. The university stated that the tuition waivers to current grad students will remain as long as they are in good academic standing and make progress towards their degrees. Both the GEO and university are still in the process of negotiation, but the GEO spokesperson said that the mediator was a big help to show what kind of proposals are still on the table for both committees. Democrat David Gill has conceded the District 13th congressional race to Republican Ronnie Davis. One of the closest races in the country, Gill lost by less than 2,000 votes to Ronnie. Originally, Gill said he would not concede because Davis's 1% lead made it too close to call. However, after conceding, Gill expressed hopes to see Davis carry out some of the values mentioned on his campaign to provide a better future for the community and for the middle class families. The Illini women's soccer team won their first round game of the NCAA tournament in a rather dramatic fashion. It turned out that 90 minutes of regulation time and two overtime periods was not enough to declare a winner between the fighting Illini and their opponent, the Missouri Tigers. Penalty kicks ensued to break the one-to-one -one tie and advance one of the two teams to the second round of the tournament. The Illini were victorious in PK's 3-0 with goalkeeper Steph Pinozo blocking two shots. The women will now play second-seeded North Carolina in the next round with their winner going to the regional semifinals. And lastly, Saying that the Illinois men's hockey team and Lindenwood College have a rivalry would be a huge understatement after what happened this past Saturday. Although fighting is illegal in college hockey, both teams exploded in the second series, having numerous brawls which resulted in eight players being ejected and a total of 48 minutes of penalty time being given to both teams. Head coach Nick Fabrini will have to regroup the team as they face conference for Ohio University next week, which could have serious postseason implications. For the Daily Illini, I'm Evan Curlin, and this has been the Daily Illini Vidcast.